In this screencast, I want to do an example of integration by transformation. This is the question I've chosen. You're asked to compute the following integral, a uh, double integral, where omega is a triangular region with these three vertices, and you're told which transformation to use. You're given a linear transformation um, to use. It's the same linear transformation I considered um, a couple screencasts back. Let's consider the geometry of this, and I will redraw the, uh, the uv and xy. X. Y, UV. Let's find these three points over here. And it, uh, let's see, so we'll do that zero, zero, um, over one, two, up one, here, over two, one, two, there. Okay, so that's approximately the region. So these are, this is the triangle. So that's, this is omega. Now, um, let's look at what that looks like in UV coordinates. Uh, we previously previously did this, so I'm not going to, to repeat uh, too much what I did there, but uh, if you look at the, the lines at constant u, and there's this one in particular where u is equal to zero, u equal u naught, yeah, u equal u naught equals zero, and that corresponded exactly to this line, to one side of the triangle. Of course, it extends this way, so that's this line. And then I have the line, um, the curves of constant v, and I have in particular the one v is equal to zero, so v equal v naught equals zero, and that corresponds to this line. Anyway, there it is. Let me fix this one. There's various ways to think about this, but I'm going to go ahead and work out what these points here are. This is the point two one, and what's that correspond to over here in u v? Uh, what's going to clearly have uh, it, it lies on the line where v is equal to zero, so it lies on this line. And you just you could invert this transformation and work it out, but you can just eyeball it if you just. Um, just look at what two what will give you two one. That's going to be particularly given that you know v is equal to zero. That's going to be obviously u is equal to one when v is equal to zero. So that'll be this point here. That'll be uh, one zero. So I'm just going to. This is not necessary to do the integration, but I want to do it anyway. I want to draw what that line looks like over here. So that line will be parallel to the one to the other yellow line. So it will be like this. And then you need to work out what this point is. This point here is at 1, 2. Again, it lies, uh, lies along the line u equals 0. So I just have to figure out the value of v. And v will be a 1. So this point corresponds to this point, which is 0, 1. It's not necessary to do the integral, but I'm going to do it anyway. That line of constant v, again, it will be parallel to this other line of constant v. It'll be like this. Um, I previously discussed this triangle. This um, in relation to this unit square. In fact, let's do this, um, unfortunately, I mean, not triangle, this um, some rhombus, I guess. As I trace out this unit square here, to, 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 I will trace out, I will go here, then up to that point, which is off this, my figure, I'll come back, and I'll do like this, all right? Now, unfortunately, now, I only want to do this triangle, so I want to go from here, directly from here to here. Now, because this transformation is linear, all I have to do to do that is um, take a diagonal across here and go from there to there. Okay, and you can work out, if you're not satisfied, you can work out that, uh, say, take this point here, uh, one half, one half, and that will lie on this line segment between these two. Um, but fundamentally, it's be I can take a straight line between here because this is a linear transformation. All right, so this then, I guess I'm finished. So this is my region gamma in UV coordinates. And let's just write it down. Gamma will be, so this is a gamma will be, um, could do it how you want, but I'll take u to be between 0 and 1. You can see this, so uh, 0 less than or equal to u less than or equal to 1. And then I will take v, this, this upper bound is 1 minus u, so I'll take v to be between 0 and 1 minus u. Right. So that's my region um, gamma that corresponds to omega. All right, so now we're ready to do the problem. Uh, again, I illustrated it more than was probably absolutely necessary, but uh, I just want to, again, give you the idea of the geometry. So you recall our formula, the double integral of f over omega dA is given by the integral over gamma of f, where you substitute x of u and v, y, u and v. Uh, then you have to put in um, the absolute value of the Jacobian. I will write it in the general case. We wrote it in a slightly simpler way for linear transforms, but, right, and then du dv. All right, so we can just uh, go about plugging in. This will become the integral. This integral from u will go from, I will label it this way, will go from 0 to 1. v will be from 
0 to 1 minus u, my uh, limits of integration. Now f of, um, I have to convert this to, to uv, so I have here uh, x, x is 2u plus v minus 3y, y is um, u plus 2v. So I've now converted my integrand, I've converted my integrand to a function of u and v only. This, um, this determinant I worked out before, uh, in any case, you can easily do this quickly from this transformation. You're going to have 2 times 2 minus 1 times 1. You work that out and you'll get that. That's a 3. Um, and then because I chose the limits of integration with v on the inside, I have to write this as dv du. So the rest is simply uh, doing the integral. It's a, a simple integral to do. I'm going to not do all the steps. I'm going to pull out that 3. I don't like that 3 there. Integral from 0 to 1 on u. I have v from 0 to 1 minus u. I'm going to have a, a 2u minus 3u is a minus u. And I have a v and a minus 6v, that's minus 5v dv du. If, it, if I were you, I would pull out that minus sign. It just leads to fewer errors. Um, you know what? I don't even think I'm going to, I think I'll just uh, tell you what the answer is. You, you, you're going to integrate this once with respect to v, and then you're going to put this limit in, you're going to have a function of u, you can then integrate that between 0 and 1. I don't see any way you could have immediately known that, but all of that actually will integrate to 1, and the final answer will be minus 3. I'll let you do that at home. It's uh, not a very inspired uh, problem, perhaps, but it's it's typical. It shows all the steps. This is what you do. You, you're you simply going to convert your, your double integral over a to some over omega, some integral over, um, over gamma, this is just straightforward substitution. You have to compute this Jacobian, and off you go.